Hello friends, I welcome you on Baiju's exam prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. Friends, today's session is going to be one more motivational session, but let me just clear this in your mind that uh, there has been lot of motivational sessions in various categories, especially for gate aspirants. And yesterday I was listening to a news in social media that one gate aspirant, he got so much motivated with this motivation that he just raised his finger and he just made a hole in the sky. So too much motivation is also very bad. But what I am bringing in this session is that it is a simple case. You will see that there are people, there are candidates, there are students who get success very easily. When I say easily, it's not that they have not done the hard work. They also have to do that much amount of hard work. But in comparison to others, they are easily going through that process and they are getting the success. And it's not just the one examination. If you allow them to appear in various categories of examination, you will find the person who is getting success in one examination, there is a high possibility that he or she will be getting success in other examinations also. So what is that secret formula? What is that ingredient which makes success quite easy for any student? That is what we are going to discuss today. The title for today's session is how to become a juggernaut. Juggernaut, let me just first give you the introduction part of this particular word because this is a very interesting word. Actually, the literal meaning of juggernaut means unstoppable. So there are people who are unstoppable when it comes to success. So how you can also ace this, how you can also achieve this, let us understand. But let us tell you, let me tell you how this word came into the picture. You must be aware that in Puri, there is a temple that is Jagannath Ji temple. And once in a year, there is a procession in which the the Rath Yatra is taken from one place to another place and it is said that the Bhagwan Jagannath Ji's Rath should not stop in between anywhere. So it is unstoppable. From there that Jagannath word came into English vocabulary as Jagannath. The very simple example is Sachin Tendulkar is a Jagannath batsman. So he is unstoppable. So let us understand what is that secret formula, what is that ingredient which makes your attitude in such a fashion that you always crave for success and you get success. It's not just that you are making the hard work and still you are not getting the success. So everybody just quickly like the session, like, share and subscribe the session and share it with your friends and colleagues so that more and more people are going to be joining with us. <clears throat> Hi Narsima, how are you? Very good evening. Welcome to the session. All the candidates just tell me in the comment section are able to follow this so that we can start with the session. See, uh, in this session, I will be using a little bit of Hindi mixed with English also. So I hope you are going to be comfortable. Anywhere you find any difficulty in Hindi or English, you can ask me. I will definitely translate it to your comfortable language. Before we start, let me just give you a brief introduction about myself. Some of you may be joining me for the first time. So... My name is Ashutosh, as you can see on the screen, I have 11 plus years of teaching experience, completed MTech from ITBH in 2010, written a couple of books, and these are my subjects, power system, electrical machines, electromagnetic field theory, material science, engineering ethics, and current affairs. Before we start, one important workshop is going to be conducted by our favorite, your favorite, my favorite, Ravin Thube, sir. He has more than 10 years of teaching experience to the gate aspirant, gate and engineering services aspirants and he is going to conduct a workshop, what is the right approach to tackle the gate 2024 syllabus. He is going to give you important strategies, important ways how you can strategize or systematize your preparation. It is going to be conducted on 8th of November and the timing is going to be 8 p.m. in the evening but to attend this workshop, you have to register yourself on the Baiju's exam prep app. So please register yourself so that you can join this workshop. So let me just brief you what are the important issues today I'm going to discuss. It is going to be a lot of fun in this session. It's not going to be, uh, you can say, brainstorming session. No, it's going to be all fun. 
we are going to talk simple things, but the impact those simple examples are going to create in your mind and preparation is going to be very significant. First, we will be talking about vision, then overcoming the fear of failure, inquiring mind, phoenix bird case study and sacrifice. Is it clear everybody? So friends, let us start with the first thing that is vision. Before you start preparation for any examination, it's not just about gate examination, you must have a vision. Vision means you have to ask some very fundamental question. Why? Why you want to prepare for that particular examination? What is the reason? The second thing is you have to ask yourself how, what, and where. This is also very, very important because you must get the right content, right resource, right mentor. I am not saying I am the right mentor. Anybody can be your right mentor, but the point is you must have your right mentor. So if you are able to answer these questions, it means you have a vision for your preparation. And if you have a vision for your preparation, your preparation will be most probably on the right track and you will be able to channelize your maximum potential towards your success. Is it clear everybody are you able to follow this? Now, just like I have started the session, I had said that a little bit of Hindi will be mixed with Hindi and Hindi and English will be mixed with both of them. So, I don't like a personally motivational session very well. What is the reason? That when any person motivates a particular person, it can be an ideal person or it can be a very good person, then when it motivates a person, suppose it has motivated 1,000,000 people, then it can motivate a person. उन एक लाख लोगों में से हो सकता है कि दस हजार लोगों ने उसकी बात को फॉलो किया हो या सौ लोगों ने उसकी बात को फॉलो किया हो लेकिन उसमें से क्या सब लोग ए आई वन गेट में बन जाएंगे नहीं बनेंगे कोई वन भी बनेगा कोई टेन भी बनेगा कोई हंड्रेड भी बनेगा और बहुत सारे ऐसे होंगे जो नहीं भी बनेंगे तो पर्सनली मुझे थोड़ा सा मोटिवेशन मुझे लगता है कि मतलब इतना ज्यादा बच्चों पर कारगर नहीं होता है फिर मेरे एक बहुत अच्छे दोस्त थे उनका नाम लेने का फायदा नहीं था उन्होंने मुझसे बोला कि तो मैंने उनसे पूछा कि भाई ये क्या मतलब मोटिवेशन से क्या होता है एक लाख बच्चों को मोटिवेट किया एक की रैंक आएगी बाकी तो निन्यानवे हजार नौ सौ निन्यानवे लोगों की तो उससे नुकसान ही हो रहा है डिप्रेशन में जा रहे हैं तो उन्होंने बड़ी अच्छी बात बोली उन्होंने बोला एक कहानी सुनाई मुझे कि एक बार एक ग्रैंड अपने बच्चे के साथ एक समुद्र के किनारे टहल रहे थे तो बहुत सारे जेली फिश जब मॉर्निंग का टाइम होता है जब मॉर्निंग ब्रीज का टाइम होता है तो उस समय क्या होता है कि कई सारे सी क्रीचर्स जो होते हैं वो किनारे पे आकर इकट्ठा हो जाते हैं उसमें से बहुत से मर भी जाते हैं तो वो जो बच्चा था वो क्या करने लगा वो उन जेली फिश को उठा उठा के स्टार फिश को समुद्र में वापस फेंकने लगा तो उसके बाबा जी ने उसके ग्रैंड ने उससे पूछा कि बेटा तुम ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हो यहाँ तो हजारों हैं तुम हजारों को तो नहीं फेंक पाओगे तो उस बच्चे ने जो बात कही वो बात बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है कि क्यों मोटिवेशनल सेशन आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है उस बच्चे ने कहा कि ग्रैंडफादर मैं सबको तो नहीं बचा सकता लेकिन जिस जेली फिश को जिस स्टार फिश को मैं उठाकर पानी में फेंकता हूं उसकी जिंदगी बदल जाती है ऐसा ही कुछ मोटिवेशन में भी होता है बहुत सारे बच्चे ऐसे मोटिवेशनल सेशन को फॉलो करते हैं उनमें से कुछ को सक्सेस मिल जाती है कुछ को नहीं मिलती है बट फिर भी आपको लगे रहना है क्यों वो हम डिस्कस करेंगे अभी सेशन में तो दोस्तों फ्रेंड uh, सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेज इज दैट यू मस्ट हैव अ विजन फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन व्हाई यू वांट टू प्रिपेयर सपोज यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट एग्जामिनेशन सो वट इज योर एम यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर हायर स्टडीज इफ यस देन वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू डू योर हायर स्टडीज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू अचीव दैट वॉट आर द रिसोर्सेज राइट कॉन्टेंट राइट अप्रोच राइट मेंटर everything you have to finalize before you get into your preparation i hope it is clear second thing overcome the fear of failure this is very very important overcoming the fear of failure is not that you do not fear anymore fear is a natural uh, characteristic of human beings there are some characteristics of human being a person who is a human being definitely 
person is going to be human being. He is going to get anger. He is going to laugh. He is going to cry. He is going to get fear. He is going to get scared. So it's not that you can remove fear from your mind. Fear will always be there. If somebody is saying, I do not fear things. If you ask somebody, just go 2 a.m. in the night and take out the water bottle from the fridge. And you just place a scary picture inside the uh, fridge. The moment he is going to open the door of the fridge, that situation will tell you. Okay, are you able to follow this? So, fear will always be there. It's not that you can remove the fear. Rather, you have to overcome the fear. Fear will always be there. It is a natural characteristic. And if you are getting a little bit of fear, it is very good ingredient for your preparation. If there is someone who do not fear at all, it means he is not well into the preparation mode. If I am concerned about my preparation, if I am worried about my preparation, then definitely I will be having some fear in my mind that what if I do not get the success? What if I do not get my desired rank? What if I do not get my desired higher education institution? So that little bit of fear is going to be important. Fear is like a salt. Fear is like a salt. It is to the taste. Too much of salt or without salt is going to spoil your dish. It should be like a salt. As per your taste, as per your requirement, it should be there. Or Hindi mein ek badi achhi baat kahi hai. Bhai bin hoi na preeti. Without fear, there cannot be attraction. Without fear, there cannot be passion. It is important if you want to achieve something, then there should be at least a little bit of fear. I hope you are able to follow this. Fear will always remain with you at different, different stages of the examination. When you start your preparation, apart from that big fear, whether you will get selected or not, you will have small, small fears. You may be having a fear that today you will not be able to attend the live class because you have some urgency. Maybe your semester exams are going on. You are not able to attend the live sessions. That may be one type of fear. You may have other fear. Suppose you are appearing in the mock test. You are not getting good marks. Again, you will get a fear. But this fear tendency is good for your preparation. It means that you are serious, you are sincere, you are concerned, you are worried about your preparation. But what you are going to do with that fear, that is very important. There are two types of people in this world. And apart from this, there is no other person. There are two types of people. There are people who accept things without questioning and there are people who accept or reject after questioning. Now you have to decide in which category you are going to fall. Are you going to accept your fear without questioning it? Or you are going to accept it or reject it after questioning it. If you are not able to attend the live class, no problem. You can watch it in the recorded form. So you have solved the question. You have solved the fear. If you are not getting good marks in the mock test, no problem. You can prepare for your weak areas and you can appear again in the mock test. So you are able to ask a question. Either you can accept it or reject it. There are possibility that some, some of your fears are going to be fake. They are not real. For example, there are people who are having a thinking in their mind. Even if they are doing well in their preparation, the moment it will come December or January, they are going to have this feeling that their preparation is not good. Everybody has this fear. There are some people after getting some rank, especially if they are getting rank under top 10, then when they will come in front of the media and when they will 
answer the questions to the students, future aspirants, then we will say, then they will say, no, I was confident about my success. Most of them, they are going to lie down. But this is not true. Everybody has that type of confusion, that type of fear. Even if you may be little confident that, yes, you will get a good rank, but nobody can tell you that you are going to get rank one. There is one very senior faculty and he used to say, वो बड़ी अच्छी बात कहते हैं वो कहते हैं कि देखो रैंक लाना ये पूर्व जन्म के कर्मों पर निर्भर करता है और स्पेशली रैंक वन लाना रैंक वन लाना ये पूर्व जन्मों के कर्मों पर निर्भर करता है क्योंकि आप जितनी मेहनत करोगे आप अंडर हंड्रेड आ सकते हो अंडर फिफ्टी आ सकते हो अंडर टेन आ सकते हो बट वन आओगे कि नहीं आओगे ये इस जन्म के कर्मों पर उतना निर्भर नहीं करता है ये पिछले जन्म के कर्मों पर निर्भर करता है so overcoming fear is very very important and most of the people most of the students because at your age it is very easy to give you false fear understand the example of false fear some people are asking is there salt in your toothpaste now people become scared oh there is no salt in our toothpaste so what will happen to our teeth it is a false fear there are people who are saying okay which book you follow for electrical machines somebody is saying ps bhimra somebody is saying pc sen somebody is saying some other book and you are getting fear oh i am studying only one book what will happen to me will i get success or not this is also wrong this is a fake fear this is not real to understand the subject you need not go for 10 different books just one single book you have to read with your 100% concentration with your sincerity once you do that then almost 80 to 90% of your doubts are going to be cleared if it is a standard book obviously not some sub standard book any standard book which is easily available on internet free of cost today we have lot of pdfs available otherwise you can just go and purchase it maybe costing 400 500 600 rupees instead of going for different different books just go for one book and read every single statement very carefully understand the concept make good short notes and after doing this practice for one month or two months you will see the result you will see the result automatically so overcoming the fear is also very very important to become a juggernaut for success then inquiring mind now let me give you the example of your own childhood you just close your eyes and try to recall that when you were a child even if your parents even if your father is saying don't do that it's risky it may hurt you even if your mother is shouting but still you will do that why because a child is going to have an inquiring mind a child want to learn a child want to understand if something is happening like this why it is happening like this why it is not happening like that and what happens with our 10 12 14 years of formal education we actually kill this child inside us and we stop asking good questions because we are going through a process that process is the structured process there are going to be regular classes then you are going to attend some monthly test then you have to go for final test and this is the regular procedure but no one is teaching in our education system how to develop this inquiring mind this is very very important okay now there are people who are saying sir winners are born they are not made they are not made main isko hindi mein bhi bata deta hu kuch log kehte hain ki sir jo log jeetna jante hain na wo matlab wo janmajat unke andar जन्म से ही कुछ ऐसी क्वालिटी होती है बाई बर्थ कुछ ऐसी क्वालिटीज होती है दे हैव सम बाई बर्थ वर्च्यूज सो दैट दे गेट सक्सेस इन एवरी एग्जामिनेशन एवरी चैलेंज नाउ इट इज अ मिथ एंड लेट मी ब्रेक दिस मिथ 
there has been two philosophers one is plato ek the plato aur ek the aristotle इन्होंने बोला मिस्टर प्लेटो सेड दैट वर्च्यू इज बाय बर्थ वर्च्यू इज बाय बर्थ वर्च्यू मींस गुड क्वालिटीज सो ही बेसिकली टॉक्ड अबाउट फोर वर्च्यूज दैट इज विजडम करेज टेम्परेंस एंड द फोर्थ वन इज जस्टिस सो ब्रॉडली ही हैज डिवाइडेड वेरियस गुड क्वालिटीज इन ए पर्टिकुलर ह्यूमन बींग इन टू फोर कैटेगरीज दैट इज विजडम करेज टेम्परेंस एंड जस्टिस नो विजडम इज नॉट नॉलेज some people say sir wisdom is knowledge no wisdom is not knowledge because knowledge cannot be by birth every child after the birth he or she has to understand that this is water by birth they cannot know whether it is water or not so knowledge cannot be by birth wisdom means prudence wisdom means prudence prudence means what prudence means far sightedness far sightedness you are able to visualize what is going to happen in the future you have this analysis this clarity in your mind this is what we call as wisdom then we have courage courage is not about your physical strength courage means to face a challenge to face a challenging situation temperance means moderation it says you never ever go for any extreme situation and you can relate it to mahatma buddh madhyam mark the middle path this extreme is also bad this extreme is also bad you have to follow the middle path the balance the equilibrium whatever you do in your life moderation temperance avoiding the extreme is going to be important <coughs> let me give you one example kuch log kehte the ki bhai doodh peene se sehat banti hai doodh peene se sehat banti hai abhi kuch din pehle ki baat hai ek aadmi doodh peete hue mar gaya wo direct bhais ka doodh pee raha tha aur bhais baith gayi to itna zyada bhi nahi follow karna chahiye theek hai are you getting my point so moderation is very important in life whatever you do in your life balance equilibrium santulan is very very important then we have justice this justice is not about your judiciary that judge advocate evidence that is not justice we are talking about this justice means the idea of right and wrong the ability to understand what is right and what is wrong so plato said that these virtues are by birth and aristotle said sir virtues can be learned matlab plato pehle aaye aur plato ke shishya hue plato ke student hue aristotle he is the teacher he is the student teacher is saying virtues are by birth तो ये सब पर्सनल क्वालिटीज होती हैं ये जन्मजात होती हैं इनको सिखाया नहीं जा सकता एरिस्टोटल इज सेइंग नो 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 वर्च्यूज कैन बी लर्न विद प्रैक्टिस एंड एक्सपीरियंस अब ये बड़ा कंफ्यूजन है दिस इज वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग होम टू बिलीव हु इज राइट whether plato is right or whether aristotle is right who is the right person it is always said if you want to understand somebody's saying then you first put yourself in their situation 
अगर आपको यह समझना है कि प्लेटो ने यह बात क्यों कही और इसका क्या मतलब है तो पहले आपको उस जगह खड़ा होना पड़ेगा जहां पर प्लेटो खड़ा है या अगर आपको यह समझना है कि एरिस्टोटल ने क्या कहा तो पहले आपको उस जगह खड़ा होना पड़ेगा जहां पर एरिस्टोटल ने खड़े होकर यह बात करी थी ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ प्लेटो प्लेटो के टाइम पे क्या था बहुत सारी वॉर हो रही थी ऑलरेडी बहुत सारी वॉर हो रही थी देर वॉज अ वॉर टाइम हर दूसरे दिन कहीं ना कहीं वॉर हो रही थी और जब वॉर होती है तो उसमें क्या होता है बहुत सारे लोगों की जान जाती है जान माल का नुकसान होता है तो प्लेटो को यह लगा कि अगर राजा का बेटा राजा बन जाएगा तो स्टेबिलिटी रहेगी इफ इट इज ओपन फॉर ऑल दैट एनीबडी कैन बिकम किंग देन देयर विल बी इंटरनल डिस्टर्बेंस इन द स्टेट ऑलरेडी वी आर हैविंग लॉट ऑफ वार सिचुएशन आउटसाइड so during that circumstances plato said that virtues are by birth if you come to the aristotle the period the time period of aristotle is the period when there are less war now is the time when aristotle is saying now virtues are not just by birth raja ka beta hi raja nahi banega agar aapke andar pratibha hai kabiliyat hai merit hai aap use prove kariye और आप भी राजा बन सकते हैं तो इफ यू पर्सनली आस्क मी सर हु इज करेक्ट आई विल टेल यू दिस इज ऑल्सो ही इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ही इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट देर आर सम इनेट क्वालिटीज बाय बर्थ विच कैन नॉट बी लर्न एंड इट इज वेरी मच अफेक्टेड बाय द ज्योग्राफी यू सी ज्योग्राफी इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड ए वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट डायमेंशन ऑफ योर नेचर योर एटीट्यूड योर बिहेवियर let me give you one simple example you take people you take the example of people living in the northern belt people living in the northern belt they are very very sensitive about the hygiene why they are so much sensitive about the hygiene because they belong to the indus valley civilization the indus river that in this plain that in this river in the gangetic plain it was a very fertile area and lot of water was available even if you see the harappa and mohenjodaro excavations you will find it is found that almost every house is going to have one individual well har ghar ke andar ek kuwa tha ab jab ghar ke andar hi kuwa hai jab attached bathroom bana hua hai to aadmi din mein panch bar bhi nahan sakta hai लेकिन अगर घर के बाहर कहीं दूर जाकर नहाना होगा तो एक बार नहा लिया तो बहुत बड़ी बात है वैसे आजकल आपकी जनरेशन में तो बच्चे वैसे भी घर में अटैच बाथरूम होने के बाद भी शायद दो चार दिन में एक ही बार नहाते हैं यस मानो विश्वकर्मा हव यू वेलकम टू देशन आदर्श सिंह आर इज आस्किंग सर फॉर गेट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एग्जाम ओनली इंडियन राइटर्स बुक सी इट्स नॉट अबाउट इंडियन और फॉरन ऑथर्स इट इज बेटर यू कॉन्टेक्ट सम good mechanical faculty okay and you will get the answer actually i belong to electrical engineering so i cannot be the right person to answer this but i can tell you it's not about indian author or foreign author whosoever author is going to suit you whose language you are comfortable that only you read okay so what i was telling you that inquiring mind questioning why it is happening why not it is happening like that is very important to get through success in any examination if you are blindly going the preparation my friend you are bound to fail at the end of the day it is high possibility that you will not taste the success so you should be very aware you should not just see from your eyes you should have an enlightened brain always asking questions inquiring mind if you are doing this whether it is right or wrong you have to take a decision every now and then you have to take a decision and you should have you should have made every effort to keep this child alive in your mind children are always asking questions why it is like that why it is doing like that why he is doing this why she is doing that 
children are full and full of questions and that is what you have to do when you prepare you must have an inquiring mind you contact me uh, mr adarsh after the session my personal telegram channel on byju's exam prep that is electrical by ashutosh saxena i will definitely give you the right answer to your question otherwise i will make you connect to the right teacher right faculty right mentor now let us take another example of phoenix bird case study now phoenix is a mythological bird phoenix is a mythological bird and it is said that it is that this bird is immortal immortal means what it never dies at the fag end of its life it used to burn itself and from the ashes it is again going to be reborn it is a mythological bird so what is the case study here isme kya seekhne wali baat hai phoenix ek chidiya ka naam hai ye ek aisi chidiya hai jisko amrata pradan hai ye amar hai ye kabhi nahi marti hai mythological hai aur jab bhi iske jeevan ka ant kareeb hota hai तो ये अपने आप को पूरा जला देती है अग्नि से जला देती है और इसकी जो राख होती है उस राख से ये दोबारा जन्म लेती है कहने का मतलब क्या है कहने का मतलब ये है ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता कि आप लाइफ में गिरे नहीं यू विल फॉल यू शुड नॉट हैव द फियर ऑफ फेलियर इन योर माइंड यू विल फॉल नो कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम फॉलिंग and if you don't fall you will never learn how to walk how to run and how to fly it is very important and whenever you fall you must remember this case study main aapko apna ek chhota sa example de raha hu aisa nahi ki main apne bare mein kuch ki main bahut maine achieve kar liya hai life mein aur mere barabar koi dusra hai hi nahi main bhagwan ban gaya aisa kuch nahi ek simple sa example de raha hu aap shayad relate kar paoge samajh paoge When I was in MTech, BHU, two thousand eight to two thousand ten, so I was very clear that I will go for civil services. I never ever prepared for any other examination, neither GATE nor engineering services. There were some reasons why I was so much attached with civil services. So, मेरे दिमाग में clear था कि भाई मुझे civil services ही करना है और कुछ नहीं करना है. और MTech पूरा करके मैं लग गया. बट अपने एक्सपेंसेस निकालने के लिए मैं थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ाता भी रहता था मैंने कुछ कॉलेजेस में भी थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ाया उसके अलावा भी ऑफलाइन टीचिंग भी करता रहता था पढ़ाता रहता था और ऐसा करते हुए चार से पाँच साल के टाइम में मैंने तीन बार इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज का रिटर्न निकाला अट्ठारह पी एस से ज़्यादा पी ऑलमोस्ट छोटे से लेकर बड़े तक शायद ही इलेक्ट्रिकल का कोई भी ऐसा पी होगा जिसका रिटर्न मैंने नहीं निकाला कहीं सेलेक्शन नहीं हुआ और 2015 में फादर को हो गया कैंसर माय फादर गॉट डिटेक्टेड विद कैंसर इन 2015 इट वाज इन जून और उस समय उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज में मेरा प्री निकल गया था मेरा मेंस का एग्जामिनेशन था माय होल फैमिली वाज लिविंग हियर इन दिल्ली एनसीआर बिकॉज माय फादर वाज गेटिंग द ट्रीटमेंट इन मेदांता हॉस्पिटल इन गुड़गांव तो उनका ट्रीटमेंट चल रहा था तो मैं अकेले लखनऊ वाले घर पे रहता था वहाँ से मेंस का एग्ज़ाम दिया तो लगता था सब ख़त्म हो गया मतलब क्या है इतनी प्रिपरेशन करी और जब टाइम आया तो इतनी बड़ी समस्या आ गई कैसे होगा क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा बट एक चीज़ थी जो मेरा हर समय पीछा कर रही थी 2011 से ही जैसे ही मैंने 2010 में एम टेक कम्प्लीट किया जस्ट आई कम्प्लीटेड माई एम टेक इन टू सिंस टू जुलाई वेन आई गो फॉर टीचिंग तो जो चीज़ें मुझसे दूर भागती थी वो चीजें खुद मेरे पास आने लगी पहला जो सबसे पहला मैंने अपनी लाइफ में टीचिंग स्टार्ट किया 2010 में तो उस समय हुआ क्या कि पेरेंट्स रिटायर होने वाले थे तो पेरेंट्स ने बोला कि भाई अब जॉब ज्वाइन कर लो बीटेक भी हो गया एमटेक भी हो गया आईआईटी का ठप्पा भी लग गया आपके आप तो ज्वाइन कर लो तो मैं इंटरव्यू देने जा रहा था तो बीस बच्चे लगभग वहां पर आए थे इंटरव्यू देने और मैं पूरा लाल रंग की टाई वाई लगा के और शर्ट वर्ट पहन के पूरा तो मेरी मदर से मेरी कॉन्स्टेंटली बातचीत चल रही थी तो मदर ने मुझसे पूछा कि 
कि देखो बेटा कम पैकेज भी मिले तब भी तुम ज्वाइन कर लेना धीरे धीरे लोग आगे बढ़ते हैं ऐसा नहीं होता कि पहले दिन से ही बड़ा सा पैकेज लग जाता है तो तुम इसकी चिंता मत करना और तुम ज्वाइन कर लेना तो मैंने मदर से पूछा कि कितने पे ज्वाइन कर लें तो उन्होंने बोला कि 20-25 भी मिल जाएगा तो तुम ज्वाइन कर लेना एटलीस्ट स्टार्ट तो करो अब एमटेक हो गया है एंड आई कम फ्रॉम अ मिडिल क्लास फैमिली मिडिल क्लास का मतलब प्योर मिडिल क्लास और वो भी लखनऊ से तो मतलब वहाँ 25,000 उस समय ये 2010 की 8 की बात है उस समय मतलब अच्छा अमाउंट माना जाता था बहुत बड़ा तो नहीं लेकिन हाँ फिर भी ठीक ठाक सम्मानजनक था इंटरव्यू हो गया आई वॉज द ओनली कैंडिडेट सेलेक्टेड इन दैट ग्रुप ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी ऑड स्टूडेंट्स ट्वेंटी ऑड एप्लीकेंट्स and when i faced the hr round with the director dean and the electrical professor they offered me 50000 rupees the moment they offered me 50000 rupees my face expression was no no it is not possible it is very less so it happens but what i wanted to tell you is that whenever you have this feeling in your mind that everything has finished now and i cannot get back on the track you remember this mythological word phoenix apni khud ki raakh se ye khud dobara janm leti hai ye word aur life mein aapko yahi karna padega agar aapke samne aisi paristhiti aati hai if you are facing such a dire situation in your life then the only thing you have to do is keep walking never stop automatically destination will come things will come to you but you have to reinvent yourself reinvigorate yourself reenergize yourself whenever you fall is it clear the last one is sacrifice now you see there are very simple formulas of getting success success is not that difficult are you getting that getting success is not that difficult very easy just read the subject practice problems do the revision practice mock test and get air 1 very simple procedure what is difficult in that you have to read all the subject you have to practice problems revise your subject appear in the mock test and you will get rank 1 then why people are not able to get that success the reason is you are not willing to sacrifice let me give you a small example if i tell you that morning 4 hours are very crucial for your preparation you get up early in the morning around 5 or 6 and study for 4 hours see mr adarsh singari if if you are that much worried about this particular question please join my personal telegram channel on my juice exam prep that is electrical by ashutosh saxena see it's very important that you have a healthy mindset when you come for a public platform you please understand that such type of questions the way you are writing is only going to deviate the class and it is not healthy for other students you are not ready to sacrifice if i tell this thing to get up early in the morning tomorrow and study for 4 hours how many people are going to do that because you are not going to sacrifice your sleep and if you don't sacrifice things in your life you will never achieve something big you just give me one example aap mujhe sirf ek aisa example de do jahan par bina sacrifice ke kisi ne jeevan mein kuch paya ho ek badi purani kahawat hai sanskrit mein ki sote hue sher ke muh mein hiran khud chal kar nahi aata hai शेर को भी शिकार करना पड़ता है द प्रे डज नॉट गेट इन टू द लाइन्स माउथ स्लीपिंग लाइन्स माउथ द लाइन हैज टू फाइट द बैटल किल द प्रे तभी शेर को भी खाना मिलता है सो सेक्रीफाइस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो सेक्रीफाइस मीन्स वॉट 
this is very important understanding people are not able to understand what does this mean sacrifice means what i will give you a very simple example main ek bahut simple si baat kahunga kyunki simple baatein samajh mein aa jati hain aur aap unko aasani se follow kar sakte hain sanskrit mein ek badi purani kavita hai kaak chestha वाली कहानी सुनिए कौआ लाया कंकड़ कौए ने पिया पानी कौआ उड़ गया हम्म उसके ऊपर बहुत सारे मीम भी चल रहे हैं आजकल लेकिन उस पर ध्यान नहीं देना है ही सेज काक चेष्टा यू शुड प्रैक्टिस लाइक अ क्रो वन बाय वन स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्मॉल स्मॉल स्टेप यू हैव टू डू देन यू विल अचीव द सक्सेस वको ध्यानम in hindi we call it bagula i don't know the exact i am not sure about it so i am not writing in english vako dhyanam jab wo machli pakadta hai na bagula to uska concentration 100 kyunki machli to bahut tez bhagti hai so kaat chestha vako dhyanam shwan nindra and you should sleep like a dog shwan nindra shwan in sanskrit dog is called as shwan shwan nindra You should sleep like a dog. हल्की सी भी आहट हुई तो उठ गए कुछ लोग घोड़े खरीद कर सो रहे थे भाई कुछ लोग बेचते हैं तो वही जो बेचते हैं तो कुछ लोग खरीदते भी तो होंगे ना और दोनों को नींद में होना चाहिए तो कुछ लोग घोड़े बेच कर सोते हैं कुछ लोग घोड़े खरीद कर सोते हैं तो आपको ना बेच कर सोना है ना खरीद कर सोना है आपको बहुत ही अवेयर रहना है छह घंटे से ज्यादा की अगर आप नींद ले रहे हैं इसका मतलब आप विद्यार्थी हैं ही नहीं यू आर नॉट ए स्टूडेंट इफ यू आर टेकिंग स्लीप मोर देन सिक्स आवर्स काक चेष्टा वको ध्यानम श्वान निंदा तथा अल्पाहारी ईटलेस अल्पाहारी ग्रह त्यागी ग्रह त्यागी यस आदर्श नाउ यू आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक सो दीज आर द फाइव करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ अ ऑफ एन आइडियल स्टूडेंट एंड दीज आर द सेक्रीफाइसेज यू हैव टू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट सक्सेस लॉट ऑफ पीपुल दे आर कंप्लीटली ट्रैप्ड इन द फैमिली सिचुएशन Are you getting that? Your mother is saying something. Your father is saying something. Your brother is saying something. Your relatives are saying something. Your friend is saying something. It is very difficult because people you don't know, you can easily ignore them. But how to ignore people to whom you are related and so much directly? You have a blood relation. Then you must learn the art of saying no. Art of saying no. and let me tell you till the time in your life you do not learn the art of saying no whosoever it may be if something is not in your interest that is wrong you will not follow that you will never ever achieve big things in your life it is very important so you have to sacrifice big to achieve something big A small achievements can can be made without sacrifice but big achievements require big sacrifices so this is all from my side friends i hope you enjoyed the session i hope you learned something so if you have any further doubts now i am going to open the session for doubts if you have any more doubts you are most welcome please ask me your questions questions please If you have any doubts please ask me
Now Adarsh, I can answer your doubt, but if it is going to be a serious doubt, then only I will answer it. Okay. So please tell me if you have any doubt. You can also join my personal telegram channel on Baiju's exam prep, that is electrical by Ashutosh Saxena. So any more doubts or should we conclude the session? So thank you so much friends, take care of yourself and let us meet in the next session when we are going to discuss some more important concepts, motivational words for your preparation. Thank you so much, take care, thank you.